Hi, Dr. Yvette Liu joining us once again. Great to see you. And I know as soon as the weather gets better, a lot, a lot of more of us are outside. I was just saying, you know, you're out in the park, the grass, you're not sure what it is. Uh, let's break it down. What is an allergy? Okay, well, allergies are caused when the immune system reacts to a protein called an allergen. And normally these proteins are harmless, but for some reason when we breathe these in or take them in by food, the body says alert, 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 and, and decides that it needs to react. So usually it produces a lot of histamine and other inflammatory chemicals. That's why we take antihistamines mm -hmm. often when people have allergies. And these chemicals cause all the symptoms of allergies. So runny nose, congestion, watery, itchy eyes, sneezing, cough, you know, in people who have asthma and COPD, that's like emphysema and bronchitis, allergies can actually cause really significant symptoms, you know, difficulty breathing and stuff like that. They can cause, um, if you get too congested, you can get sinus infections, ear infections, so it can be a significant burden. And what would you say are the most common types of allergies for Canadians? For Canadians, it's usually um, trees, grasses, and weeds, and then also molds. So th those are seasonal allergies. We call them seasonal because they come back every season, and they don't just happen in spring. So I like to call them seasonal allergies instead of spring allergies. They're not caused by hay, so um, the, the name hay fever is a bit of a misnomer. Mm. And the trees start first, so they start in Vancouver because we have a mild winter. They start in February, and they go all the way throughout the spring until around June. And then the grasses come in maybe mid-spring all the way through summer, and then the weeds usually come in mid-summer all the way until fall. And actually, you can get allergies all the way until October. All kinds of fun stuff around us here around. Uh, what about the idea of pollen count? You've got a great tool to kind of track this down, especially if you're planning an outdoor activity, uh, the pollen count forecast. Yes, so if you search Google um, Vancouver pollen forecast, then you can get a pollen report of the top three pollens in the air. And I tell people to get to know their allergy because then you can look on the pollen forecast and you can plan your day accordingly. If you know that you're, say, allergic to birch or alder, then you can look on the pollen forecast and you say, oh, look, that's high today. So then you can take your antihistamine early because the antihistamine prevents histamine release. Once it's out, you can't really do much about it. You have to sort of wait for it to go away, but you can prevent its release. And you can also stay indoors because pollens are higher between between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Close all your windows, use recirculate in your car. Um, if you're not as exposed to the pollens, then you won't react as much. And one of the key things you said there was getting to know your allergy. And uh, one of the most definitive ways, we've even done this here on Breakfast Television, is the allergy test. And if someone hasn't done that, what's involved? Right, so if you have really bad allergies, you can get an allergy test. And usually that involves referral to a specialist. Some family doctors do it as well, but usually um, we refer to a specialist and they do little pricks in your skin and they insert a little bit of allergen in your skin and they see if you react to it and if you react they look at the size of your reaction and then you can sort of figure out what you're more allergic to. And when you look at treatments that are out there because there are a lot of antihistamines on the market what do you recommend uh, for, for your favorite for, your, for the patients? Well I usually recommend the non-drowsy ones because those ones you can sort of continue to go on throughout your day um, they won't make you as drowsy. If you're uh, needing to take them at night then the drowsy ones are probably fine. Okay, and resources online for people to find out more information when it comes to allergies? So I always recommend the HealthLink BC website that has a lot of good information on a lot of different health topics. Uh, I had a look at the WebMD site, and that one's actually a pretty good site. They have an allergy center. All so, right. So it's, yeah, it's, it's really good. It has a lot of good information and facts and stuff like that. All right, well, thanks so much for the information, Yvette. Yes. All right, some resources for us. We'll put that on our Facebook page, too, in case you're battling the allergies and want to get through it uh, this uh, seasonal change.